We are chatting here at Shepherds. Are we ready, Deborah? Yes, we are. We are. We are Wonderful. Good. We're chatting behind the scenes, and I was saying to Rachelle and Deborah, who are here today, that we got to try and look at the camera because we're, you know, as human beings, we're um, we're obviously accustomed to speaking to the person who's speaking to us, which today is Deborah behind the camera. Uh, and she'll also be in front of the camera. So we're trying to kind of uh, make sure we, we look directly at you guys who are watching. So welcome to Shepherd's Fashions here in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. It is Monday, August 26, no. 27, no. 25th, 28. 28. Oh my God, when did I lose my days? Oh my goodness. It's all a blur. It's all a blur. When you have two kids uh, under two, you know, it's kind of, it's all a blur. Uh, so it is the 28th. It is Monday. We are here in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, as I mentioned. But everything you see here today is available for purchase online, shepherdsfashions.com. Com, and we ship worldwide so no matter where you are and if you're not in the mood to buy or you know or um, maybe something doesn't strike your fancy today no worries all of these tips that we're going to share with you today can be used in your own wardrobe so we're just here to help in any way that we can and hopefully you'll come or you'll uh, walk away with a couple little nuggets on how you can uh, maybe feel a little bit better when you look in the mirror yeah so good morning everyone we've already got people and joining us from Cornwall we got Angie joining us from California where the timing is great oh yes so perfect you don't have to wake up at seven in the morning Angie to exactly. watch our show if this is a good time for you mm -hmm. Beverly is joining us from St. John and I can see we have a couple like Beverly's a petite I know so wonderful thank you for joining us this is a show for us Thank you so much. Uh, and yeah, let us know if there's any issues with the feed, uh, you know, streaming or sound or anything like that. We are here to help. So today, Marlene and Kirsten are away, and that means that the petites get to play. So uh, it is myself. I am five foot three, size 10, 12, inverted triangle. I'm Stephanie, for those who don't know who I am. And we have Deborah here, who is five foot two, three, five foot three, and about a size zero size two yeah. and uh, then we have uh, Rachel here who is five foot three. five foot three we're all five foot three today and you're about a size 18 Rachel perfect so wonderful we're all fully qualified to be petites. we are fully qualified we were born qualified for this. we were born for this show and we're going to share with you some of our tips and tricks for dressing uh, and it is dressing the petite shape because we are petites and none of the items that we have here today are petite sized so I want to make sure that everybody knows that these are just a regular collection that we have made work for us. Um, and a lot of these shapes do. We have a lot of crop pants. We have joggers. Uh, we have things that can be raised up and down, you know, little tips for rolling up the sleeves. Um, but ultimately, it comes down to your style personality. So less about, you know, what others may think are appropriate or not appropriate for a petite shape. It's really all about what you see when you look in the mirror. So if you like that wide crop pant and maybe somebody else says that's not you know that's not appropriate or suitable for a petite but you love it when you look in the mirror then that is the piece for you no matter if you're petite tall regular plus whatever doesn't matter can I give a quick shout out to Please. Liz who just said she ordered the beautiful vest and skirt and Liz oh, okay. I was talking to Liz this morning okay and so she should get the skirt so Liz I'm going to show it to you how great it looks together and I'm oh, sure you're not going to regret that wonderful oh I'm so excited to see that perfect so should we get started yeah let's so for my started. selection I decided to do kind of a this or that style so I'm going to be doing little small changes on my outfits and I want you guys to see or to say or to tell us what you prefer so whether it's better one way or the other way of course both looks are fantastic so I'm starting here with the jogger pant the candy jogger from Gilmore I am in the size medium and again I wear anywhere from a 10 12 inverted triangle so a little narrower in the hips than the shoulder line so it's important that it fits here um, and I've paired it with the best ever tee from Gilmore as well just to give me a little bit of lightness around the face sometimes I tend to wear a lot of black all black and that can be a little bit draining um, and can be very dark depending on what your style personality is. I've paired it with the Habitat jacket. Um, beautiful texture, I'll come forward. And you can see here, I don't know if you can see that on camera. A little bit. Yeah, just absolutely gorgeous. Feels like a cloud when you're wearing it. And why I chose these pieces is because of the beautiful collar, so I can 
pop it up, it actually does stay up and helps to kind of elongate the neckline here. Um, and of course the candy jogger is fantastic because it's on trend, but it's not overwhelming for a petite frame. This is the new extended length, the longer length that we've talked about in the past. It is one inch longer than before, um, but it is still very suitable for a petite, as you can see here. How are things behind the scene, Rachel? Hi. We're in the wonderful Rachel's behind the scenes now. Um, and so I went with the ivory color in the best ever tea just to, again, bring light to my face and, um, and you know, again, help to elongate and help to draw the attention up and down. So my this or that for this look is going to be a change in shoes. So I prefer to wear heels. It's just in my personality, but it's not a reality for everybody. So I want to know which do you prefer, maybe in your closet or in your personality. So I'm gonna to change to a ballet flat and let us know what you think. So this is the Scout from uh, Ara Shoes and it is in the patent with the little pearl uh, bobble there on the, so what do you guys think? Which one do you prefer? Maybe you are a petite Somebody that says definitely heels. Definitely heels. I know, and there's certainly a difference between style personality and functionality too, right? And also where you're going to wear it. And where you're going to wear it. Wear it to a formal yeah. occasion or a dressier occasion, of course those heels are going to... Yes, know. they're going to elevate. And it also depends how much walking you do during the day. You know, here in Ottawa, I drive from my house to the daycare and then to here. So certainly I don't do a lot of walking. If I were taking transit or I were walking to work or doing a lot of walking on the weekends, this would certainly be the shoe for me. So far the heel is going higher. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, absolutely. We kind of knew that one was coming. So if I move on to my second look, it's something with a little bit more personality uh, in terms of styling. So this is the best ever tee if you had not seen it before really quite nice okay so I'm gonna to change to a black t-shirt okay and then the jacket is going to do the talking somebody said I prefer the flat for most of the day perfect for the all day well wear the heel when you're mostly sitting exactly <laughs> that's <it>. right <laughs> fake it exactly we call them dinner shoes you're just sitting at the table eating dinner mm -hmm. so here is the that great spanner t-shirt, a nice crew neck. So I'm just gonna do, I'm not gonna have it right across my tummy here. So this is a bit of my trouble, uh, trouble time or trouble area, sorry. Um, especially after having two children, I've always gained weight here first and in the bust as well. Um, but uh, since having two kids, it's certainly a little bit, um, a little bit rounder than I'm used to. So um, I don't like to have anything kind of tight across the tummy. So I'll just do a little half tuck, make sure that the pants are laying flat. And this is just a great basic tee from Spanner. So I'll take the jacket, if I could have the size um, medium maybe first. That's the medium, wonderful. So this is from Carrie Noir. This is like the Boucle Chanel inspired double breasted jacket. Now, if I were to buy it, I would probably do the size medium. There's no stretch, okay? But on my petite frame, and let me just put my heels back on. On my petite frame, um, let's say I'm at the office or I'm going out for maybe a nice lunch. I'd like something that's a little bit more tailored, right? So it's going to fit a little bit more here and a little bit through the back. But notice that I can't do up the buttons across my tummy, so it doesn't fit in that way. So take a look and see which one you prefer. So this is the size medium, and now I will put on the size large, and then you can see which one fits a little bit better in terms of maybe what you prefer when we talk about how it fits. Maybe it's a little bit better through the waist, and this one here I can do up, and not that I would necessarily, because I do want to keep this dominant center line to keep me looking kind of taller and slimmer. So let me just ruche up the sleeve a little bit. So what do you think? Which one fits a little bit better? Never do the bottom up anyway. Yeah, exactly. Medium size. Medium. medium. Okay, so it's the medium. Now let's change the necklace. That may also kind of give you a different perspective on that. So that's a bit chunkier. That's a beautiful piece, isn't it? 
Thank you very much, Deborah. Okay. And now maybe something a little bit more simple, like a little simpler, but with a great effect. Very. Somebody says sh his shoulder are too large. Okay. So it's interesting, right? So then something just like that maybe, maybe modernizes it a little bit. So what do you think? So as a petite, I tend to go for something either very oversized as a style. So it's not going to knit me in at the waist. Um, it's not going to kind of, you know, showcase any of my natural shape. It's going to be oversized on purpose. Um, you know, and uh, if I were to go with the medium, then it would be very nipped in. So you have to decide, you know, how do you feel when you look in the mirror? So very interesting. I'm going to read all the comments after and see what you guys think, because I have been debating this jacket. <laughs> would this fit Rachel? Uh, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. It is actually, I have to tell you, even in the size, uh, even for me, I find it a little bit, yes, you know, you can is. feel the sleeve, yeah. right? And there's no stretch. So that's very important. Uh, yeah. Very, very important to see. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. Here we go. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, I will. Thank you, uh, Deborah. I will take the t shirt off. So I'll take this necklace off as well. Thank you very much. And I'll take the t shirt, yes. So now we're going to put on another great piece. When it says, uh, somebody said, when a size large is left open, it makes you very wide at the hips. Yes, and, and it is wider. a very boxy jacket, yeah, for yes. sure. Okay, so this is the piece from Liv. So really fun, great color, right? And great designs here. And this is certainly the size, pattern, and print that you could do as a petite, right? Now, if you want to elongate the leg line a little bit, sort of to mimic that half tuck, then you can do a little bit of ruching here on the side, right? And then just tie it up. Here, there. there we go. And then you get that look. So what do you prefer, ruched or how I first came on? And let me just change my shoe here because I think a flat would be very pretty here and give you a totally different look. And with the ruching, this detail here where you can do almost like a half tuck, it would be probably a great option if you want to wear a flat to elongate your leg line. They love the ruching. Yeah. I think it makes a big, big difference. And this is one of those tops where you don't have to do anything with. You just put on your earring. You don't need a necklace. That's it. Throw it on and out the door. Kind of like a jeans and t-shirt type of mentality. And I'm in the size medium and this is from Liv. So what's the consensus? They love the flat. Uh... The, the belly flat, shape. right? Yes. I think, you know, there's a time and a place for all the different types of shoes, right? You, know, you could also do a really great loafer, maybe one with a thick lugged, lug sole tread. Um, we didn't have one at the moment. We have it in cream, but I didn't think that would um, help to elongate the leg line. So I'm going to change my earrings because I'd like to know, um, actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to do a handbag next. I'm going to do a handbag next. Thank you so much, Deborah. Wonderful. I was looking for the lug sole. Oh, you were looking for it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, but I didn't see it. Excellent. So now we're going to talk about size of handbags. Okay. So this is the Lewin Hyde. This is the Baby Panama. It does come with. Um, I'm sure you've seen it online and in our videos. Comes with that little scarf that you can tie around. So this is a nice size for a petite. Kind of fits everything that you need to go in it. It is a bucket bag. It does come with a little bag that you can put anything in that you want to keep more secure. Okay, so this is the proportion here. Okay, and then this is the proportion of the Remy bag from Lou and Hyde. I think uh, somebody was asking about how about chunk your shoe. I mm -hmm. think with the bigger bag, uh, you could go. Yes, again, comes down to style and style mm -hmm. personality. So how do you feel? Sometimes when I wear things, like I have a big oversized boyfriend jacket and big wide, wide pants. And I, you know, and so that's obviously not, you know, traditionally suitable for a petite, but when I look in the mirror, I feel modern. And to me, that makes a big difference on how I carry myself. Uh, some say Panama bag is better. Mm -hmm. I like both. Uh, yeah. Bigger the bag is better. Bigger, so. be bigger, <laughs> well, you know, bigger is better, right? So there you go. So that's a good option too, something to think about. Again, when you look in the mirror, you don't want your bags to overwhelm you, right? You want to have enough space, but certainly not to overwhelm. 
Okay, so let's put on our trusty Gilmore cowl. Now, if you're an email subscriber, you would have seen this yesterday in our first access email. So that's what we send out to our email subscribers when we have something very exciting. We call it VIP. So you are a very important person to us and uh, we like to give you first dibs on things that we can. So this is from Gilmore. This color is the khaki, I'm sorry, Heather khaki. And it is a more casual look. So it has a very tight cuff, very uh, slim arm. Rachel, you don't like how it fits on your arms. It's tight at yeah. the uh, lower part. Mm -hmm. So good, again, you don't need to do much here, right? The cowl does kind of all the talking and you could wear it with a flat. So I'd like to know how you guys feel about the ballet flat with this look, if the proportions are right for you. Or we could do, you could do something chunky, like a lug, a lug sole, or you could do a white runner. Now I know not everybody's a fan of the white runner. And again, it's not something that's going to make me look taller. It's not going to make me look slimmer, um, but on trend for sure. And obviously comfort is key as well. So what do you guys think about that as a look? Some of things too flat, uh, super cute ballet, knee mm -hmm. chunky, something chunky. Yeah, okay, so we get all the different personalities yeah. coming through, don't we, when people make their, make their decisions. I love the white runner. Yeah. Other colors? <laughs> Other colors, exactly. <laughs> See, that's how I feel. I have, I think, four pairs of white runners, and I rotate them depending on what outfit you know, you're going to do. They're also great when you're out on the weekend because you feel comfortable, you look on trend, and really you can walk for a long time, right? Also, I think maybe they were talking about the cowl neck. Oh, the, the cowl, cowl neck. neck. Yes, so yes, the cowl... Hmm. We do have lots of colors in this one, and it's one size. So it's, um, yeah, one <laughs> size De Deborah's pointing. <laughs> no, not that one. So this is the, yeah, the two pocket um, cowl neck from Gilmore. So it is in their, um, their signature bamboo jersey. Absolutely comfortable. One size fits up to a 16 or 18 comfortably. Does not fit Marlene comfortably. She feels like it's very tight across the bust and through the back. Um, Rachelle tried it on this morning. I, we liked how it looked on her, but she didn't feel comfortable because the sleeve was too snug. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Could you, could you just grab the other earrings, please? Thank you, they're just over here on the tray. Thank you so much, Deborah. So I wanna show you the difference in earrings. So that earring I was wearing was a very simple hoop. This is gonna have a bit more impact and wondering how you guys feel about having more impactful jewelry when you don't have you know, a necklace and you're not going to wear the bracelet or um, maybe you have a smaller, you know, handbag. Now I think that is pretty impactful, but you guys be the judge. Great color on you. Yes, of course. I mean, you can't go wrong with the green and red heads, right? It's kind of magic, match made in heaven when you think about it. Okay, so I'm gonna try on another piece. So this one is from Shannon Passero. Loving the, the bigger earrings. Okay, yeah, I figured they would be the winner. You know, it makes such oh. a difference, but they are clips. No, yeah. They do make, um, it does make a big difference when uh, yeah. you find a very impactful piece. Brings light to your face, and even if you're wearing black, if you have something like this, it really lights it up, right? Really, really lights up your face. So this is a great piece from Shannon Passero. It's called the Lula Pullover, and uh, I'm in the size medium. Now this is great for petites because it allows you to show some more skin. And the more skin you're showing, the lighter your, your outfit looks, right? And feels when people are looking at it. So, now, it, but it is oversized. So you do get that very cool look to it, but you can see that it already looks a lot lighter. So although I'm doing the oversized trend, that boxy, boxy sweater, it doesn't look as boxy because of the holes. So, what do we think about this as just general? Let's see what people think. Mm -hmm. I think it. I think we need to lose the white runner, mm -hmm. and I think maybe we'll put on the Especially ballet flat. Yes, that's right. These gorgeous. Yeah. Although silver can be worn yes. all the time. But these one are, yeah. are nice. A little bit dressier. Yeah. So let's see. Love, love, love. Nice yeah. Like, uh, Very black shoe necessary. Yes, exactly. See, yeah. it makes such a difference, right? And then you, we'll, but not with the white runner. Yeah. <laughs> we beat you to it. I think she just forgot she was wearing white yeah, runner. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. No. 
it can look a little bit plain, right? A little bit simple and depending obviously on your personality, but wow, that really brightens it up, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So even as a petite, I can wear this very impactful jewelry because it's the right proportion for me or how I feel with it. So I'll come closer, you can see them more in detail. Somebody said, stay out of the sun with that top. You'll yeah. have an interesting day <laughs> someday. <laughs> sure do. So this is not a full silver piece. So you can see again, the eyes are just being drawn right here around my face. So I'm looking light, I'm looking tall, I'm looking, you know, the whole look is very impactful. And of course, very lightweight. I and think also is that if you went into your pumps. That oh would yeah, make sure. It really dressy now. Let's do you that. Know, we encourage everybody to like just somebody, stand in front of the mirror. Yes, Rachel. Somebody like the jewelry, and then yep. somebody else says the necklace is competing with the whole. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's all, it's it's a it's style all style. personality. That's what I love reading the comments. When I go home at night, I read all of the comments, and I love how it's just, you can really start to see people's style personalities coming out. Like, you know, oh, I would never do a cuff on a jean, or yes, I love the cuff, or, you know, the wide cropped, oh no, that's not for me. And then other people say, oh my God, I love that. I need it in my wardrobe. So really, you know, different types of personalities for sure for Somebody sure for sure about a long necklace i would wear the long necklace oh isn't that interesting see i like this because i find i find for me it's drawing the eye up and you know really kind of bringing all of the attention here mm -hmm. and sometimes black can be like i said a little bit heavy so if i have something to lighten up the face so that's one of the reasons why i like to wear colorful lipstick because again just brightens everything up so so this is a winner yeah, oh, there's yes, a few uh, who are like me, long, uh, who would like long a, necklace, a long, long necklace. Long necklace. I wonder, do we have one that we could try? Maybe we can just see. You know, we can, we're able to be reactive here because we're doing this this great workshop. What are some of your guys' uh, challenges as petites, and how do you combat them? Right? How do you decide? Do you say, you know, I'm going to wear what I want, which we all should do, or do you say, you know, I feel better when I wear something that's a little bit okay? What is the What's the verdict? Uh, we love the red and chunky, love the heel. We're thinking long, simple necklace mm -hmm. also. So I think they're trying to get better. Well, do you better, know what it is? Yes, yes. yes perfect. Okay. You know Someone what it is? Short, We're on short. about a five second delay. So sometime five or six seconds. So, <laughs> excuse me, when we're talking and we're going through things and then we read your comment we're able to come back and maybe revisit something so they seem to like the long somebody said like bolt okay the hole is a different look it's interesting right again long personality you look taller yes we need all the help we can Not get sure for sure something about the hole yes, <laughs> yes. We, yeah you have to be on board with the top before you can make a decision right yeah. exactly so now i'm going to put on and um, by the way that yeah. top fit me too oh right? wonderful yes. fantastic that's great news rachel very good. So now I'm going to go into this oversized Echo Verde dog walking sweater. You just grew two inches with the long. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. It just, it's all about preference. Mm. Okay. So this is the Echo Verde dog walker sweater. And this is the color wheat, which is a good color for me anyway. Um, this, that golden kind of color is very nice. So... I'm going to take these off and see what you guys think about with or without a large earring. I would probably wear maybe something smaller, but uh, you guys decide. Let's see what you guys think about that. Yeah, I could also just do a hoop. Or... Somebody said, I just bought this sweater in wheat. Love it. Good. It is a bit, yes, it is certainly not for this time of year, but once you get into kind of the thick of it, you know, might be. Uh, oh, we have a large earring. Okay. Earring need it. <laughs> so this is, so like I said, this is the color we, this is a one size piece. So it fits, I believe we had anywhere kind of, do you wear it, Deborah? I yes, you did. Yes, yes, I did wear it. Yeah, Deborah did wear it. Um, so all oversized on her as well, but that's Deborah's personality, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. I like it. I do really like this. I think it needs something to elevate it for me as a petite, especially if I'm going to wear a flat. So we have these great vests from Nikki Jones. 
And I'm gonna show you a short one and a long one, and I'd like to know what you guys think about that. So, this one is the shiny one. Is the two pocket sweater as warm as a dog walker sweater? It is not, no. It is, uh, it's different fabric. So um, the, uh, the two pocket tunic from Gilmore is a bamboo jersey fabric. So it's definitely a lot more breathable. Somebody said I would, I would wear my large earring and my nightgown. That's yeah. <laughs> That's right, Shell's just got her glitz around the house. You know what though? It really is, like I've been saying this, you know, for this video is you really have to feel good when you look in the mirror. And if you don't feel good when you look in the mirror, then it doesn't matter how perfectly proportioned everything is. It's how you feel about yourself. So this is the short one. So this is from Nikki Jones. Great gold detailing which is very nice and again kind of helps to draw the eye up and down because you can see the light reflecting on that so it's kind of creating that that dominant center line even though I have cut the pant with the sweater well we have a mix of everything I would wear longer vests uh, I would wear running shoe uh, no it's too bulky so should I put on the shoe okay we'll put on the running shoe the, for the final the look personality I know. and thank you guys so much for participating I mean this is the fun stuff right this is where we get to play dress up and I was saying I encourage all of you to go into your closets and just spend a few hours if you can find it in your day but you know, just spend a few hours trying things on because you can do different combinations that you never thought and maybe something that wasn't for you last year, maybe it does work this year. Maybe you've kind of come around to it. So here's my runner. See how you guys like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the short vest. So now I'm gonna do the longer vest and see without a hood and the details are a little bit um, yes, more subtle. Yes, you can wear the flip-flop boot. <laughs> Gosh, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. There we go. And then this is the longer vest. So, longer vest, it does not have as much detailing on it, but it does have the longer leg. Yes, you could do a black runner. It's all oh my gosh, yes, crazy. absolutely. Yeah, we're, li we're limited with what we have here, right? But of course, I'm sure everybody has at least one sneaker in their wardrobe by now. Yeah. Okay? So what is the consensus? Long vest, long vest, longer, short vest is better. I prefer the shorter puffer. <laughs> <laughs> so it depends. And you know, I think also if I can leave you with one, one parting uh, message is I think hair makes a big difference as well depending on your outfit. So I have the collar here. I have the big turtleneck. If I were to wear my hair like this, it might be just a bit too much. So I prefer to pull it back and you know, if I had an elastic, I would put it back. But you know, something where you kind of bring the attention just to what you're wearing and possibly with a big earring would maybe make a difference. Yeah, so we're having competition between the short and the Okay, the well that's good, so it's kind of 50-50. <laughs> that's what we were wanting yeah. from today. And somebody said, I like both lengths. So. Oh good, 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 good. <laughs> I mean, for me personally, I prefer this. I would, as a petite, I never would have worn anything long. You know, I grew up, my mom's also petite, and it was, you know, uh, okay, you have to wear, you know, short skirts, and you know, don't, you know, only slim legs, and don't wear anything oversized because you'll look shorter, and all of those messages that we've been receiving since the beginning of time. But now I feel that when I wear a longer length, even without a heel, but if I do wear something a longer length, that I find it actually brings me up. It doesn't shorten me. So to have something like this, as long as I wear something underneath that I feel comfortable in, is actually going to elongate my silhouette and make me look taller, not shorter. But you know, it's about having fun and experimenting in front of um, you know full length mirror. If you don't have a full length mirror at home, I recommend going to get one. And that is a big tip, I think. Everyone should have one. Okay. That's it for me, thank you so much. Okay, good, not morning, good afternoon everyone. I forget, it's, I'm, not, I'm not usually here on Monday so I don't use the, do the afternoon shows. So it's good afternoon everyone. I'm Deborah, as most of you probably know. Five foot three, size zero to a two. So I'm definitely petite, I'm petite in height and I'm fairly small in size two. So I have my own set of challenges. I know people often say, oh, everything looks good on you, but because I'm so small, things don't always look good on me and items that I love don't always work on me. So I found ways to kind of rouge them up, half tucks and all that kind of stuff to make it work for me in my wardrobe. So I've, I'm starting with just those very basic NYDJ Sherry Slim trouser, jeans, sorry, in the, in the petite. Thankfully, these jeans come in both petite and regular sizes, so it works perfect for us. We have this also, the petites, in the boot cut, which is 
another great alternative if you're a petite. And I've kept it really simple with the Eileen Fisher basic top. Okay, so I'm not gonna do so much of a this and that as Stephanie, I'm just gonna share tips that work for me, okay, and for my style personality. So I'm not a person to wear too much jewelry. I tend to use small jewelry. Once in a while I'll use a more edgy a piece of jewelry in my, in my attire because I just think it brings a bit of an edge to the outfit and I tend to like slightly edgy outfits. So again, I think as a petite or as most people, having a monochromatic outfit to start off with is something you could, is a really good base in your wardrobe. You can either start with a, a black or a navy I think either one of those, or even a charcoal, might work as a as a piece to start, as a monochromatic look to start off with. And Deborah, uh, Patricia says you are beautiful. Who does your face? Who does my face? Deborah does her face. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it's it's funny, Stephanie, because you talked about hair, and that was yes. one something I have to, because I have like like a little tie in my thing, and mm -hmm. I think it makes such a difference, uh, depending on what you wear. Yes, I agree. So I've kept it very simple because that's my style personality but this time I'm letting the bag do the talking because I think this strap on this Lambert bag has got a little bit of an edge to it I really would wear nothing else besides this but since we were talking about this and that and you just handed me that necklace I threw it into the bag just to see what people think okay so some people might like to do it this way maybe Rochelle would like the bag and the necklace for me, this is just, I think it looks good, but I wouldn't wear it. And that's, that's where, as we've talked about before, style personality makes all the difference, you know. I know certain things look good on me, but I will just never wear it. So, I don't know if you have any opinions, whether you prefer it just with the bag and without the necklace or, or not. Oh, it's okay. coming through. Oh. So, uh, yes, the chain serves as jewelry. Yes, I like the necklace. I would only wear the purse, no necklace. So it's kind of 50-50 yeah. so far. I mean, as Stephanie said, it all boils down at the end to your style personality. So these are just tips and tricks that we use that work with our personality. You have to find what works with yours. Well, they're still coming in with necklace, just the bag, with both, without, without. So that's wonderful. Thank so you so much. To go back to something Stephanie was talking about, this is the Nikki Jones buffer vest, okay? I, like Stephanie, was under the impression our parents told us you're not so tall, wear short items. But look at this. This is a long vest, the Nikki Jones vest. I find it very elongating. Now, what I find is, I'll show you the difference. Uh, I don't know if Stephanie mentioned it, but when you have it all closed up and you don't see that kind of highway, you know. Yes, it's, your dominant center line, yeah. Yeah, because this has black, so it kind of takes away from that. So you do have that uh, line drawing your eye vertically that makes you look taller. But this is a long vest that I think works on everyone, but especially on petites, I feel it elongates me. I like using a vest with sleeveless also. Maybe this is a puffer vest, so I might not be using this in winter with sleeveless. But if it was fall and on a day like it's not too cold today and I just needed an extra layer getting into work and maybe just doing groceries, I would wear it with a sleeveless and I think it looks great. Okay, now see the difference when you open this up. And you can see the whole black underpinning underneath it so it kind of you know just lengthens you and it just changes the way it looks okay now just to i know we've talked about this best a million times but for all the petites who are shy shying away from a long vest i think this is a, a, a really a good Absolutely. purchase and it's a big hit so yes 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 makes you look taller beautiful color on you they really like this now the other thing about this vest is i think is it's very modern and on trend right now so if you do do like to follow trends i think that's a good vest to own so this was the basic eileen fisher t-shirt which is another great item i think to have in your wardrobe what size in the vest were you wearing Deborah? i was wearing the extra small extra in the vest small. the extra small in the eileen fisher top and my jeans are a size zero that's great. One customer, I'm sorry, I lost the comments. I'm not sure of your name. I do apologize. Uh, but she said the NYDJ Petite is actually still too long for her. So in that case, I mean, maybe make friends with a really great tailor. I know. <laughs> I, you know, I had, when I first joined Shepherds, 
I had a customer who came to me and she said she wanted a pair of jeans and she didn't care how it cost as long as it fit her. She said she would rather spend $150 or $200 on a pair of jeans and have it tailored to fit her because she's going to be using the jeans three times a week, you know, 20 times a month as compared to a $200 dress that she will wear only once. So she would drop uh, for an occasion. So spend the little $15 or the $20, whatever it costs to alter the jeans and it will really be a, a, a wardrobe you know, workhorse. It also gives you some flexibility on the footwear that you use because if you always wear flats, then you may need to hem them. Yeah. But if you were somebody who likes to wear a bit of a heel or a wedge, then maybe the length is, you know, is great. So it, it, it's a challenge, you know, it's, yes. a, it's hard out there. It's hard okay. out there shopping. <laughs> so now this is the live little top. It's called sand, okay? I know it's deceptive. It is black and white, but it is called sand, so don't, uh, don't, don't wonder if it's the exact same thing we're talking about. A couple of things I'd like to do, okay? So I find that the length of the sleeve and the length of the top is all the same. So I find that if I cuff the sleeve, it doesn't hit me at my, not that my hips are my widest, but I just feel that it just takes away from the, from the little, from this, this broad line across here. So this helps, it shows some skin, and I think as a petite, showing a little bit of skin uh, whether it's on your wrists or whether it's at your ankles always helps now of course if you're wearing a very formal dress you may not want to you may want to have your sleeves all the way down and that's different but just generally just showing a little skin works now i'm not going to leave without talking about a half tuck okay of course. <laughs> i love my half tucks i've used it for a long time and i know many people were, were reluctant to try it but i feel that it, it really works for me now there are two ways of doing it you could either do a center half tuck, as I'm doing right now, okay? But I have heard from a lot of customers when I'm showing them the half tuck that it doesn't work for them because they feel that their tummy is their biggest area and it's not the most flattering. And I do agree. I like doing the center half tuck again, depending on what I'm wearing. If the center half tuck doesn't work for you, do the side tuck. Because then you have, if I can show you, this covers the center part, your, your biggest portion, the part of your body. And so this kind of hides your tummy and, and it works for you. So I don't know, how, what, how do you feel about the half tuck? For me, the, the two reasons I wear the half tuck is because it definitely, in my opinion, elongates my leg. I feel taller and also by showing a tiny bit of my waist, I think it gives the illusion that I have a smaller waist than I do have. Okay, so, uh, I just find it very, very functional. It just, again, it makes it a little modern. I know people have been doing it for a few years now, but I think it just. So they say side easy. tuck, side tuck, um, the cuffed sleeves they prefer, yeah. okay, versus the full length. Um, and the side half tuck seems to be um, seems to be the unan oh, almost unanimous. And then we have somebody at Shelly. She says, uh, I don't know what it is, but I still can't get with the half tuck. And I get it. I get yeah. style, personality. style personality. And now talking about how everybody prefers a side tuck, I, I, the reason is because this side tuck is where it's my leg. So that really elongates my leg, whereas this, the mid tuck does not elongate my leg at all as much as the side tuck does. So that's why, you know, we don't, we've been doing these things without knowing any of the reasons or the science behind it maybe, but here we go. My hair's a mess, my hair is wild, okay. <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot of static with those things. So this is one of the new Lyle and Lux uh, sweaters that we have in this beautiful ice cream candy pink, which I find really, really pretty. Feels very nice on the skin too. I know I'm wearing it over black, but I still think it's really mm -hmm. nice. Now, no, again, beautiful. there's nothing wrong in wearing it like this. If this is how you choose to wear it, it looks great. It's, you know, it's just easy. A little bit of a tuck, a little ruching of the sleeves. Now, I don't normally wear big jewelry. However, in this case, because there's such a stark contrast with this blush pink and the candy pink and the black, I wanted to tie it in with as I said, a necklace that's slightly chunky and slightly edgy, which is not my personality, but because I have a bit of an edgy personality, I think, I like this little uh, necklace. So I don't know what you think. 
whether it works on me or not, this necklace, but I just think it just uh, kind of completes the outfit. It draws your attention back up. And me, like Stephanie, I prefer having the necklace up at my neck because it draws the attention to my face and I just feel better with it. I'm not a person to wear long necklaces very often unless I'm wearing three or four or five necklaces. When I'm layering it a lot, then I will have a long necklace. But just a long necklace on its own, it's extremely rare that I wear it. It's just when I have four necklaces or five necklaces, which I do. So we oh, have- this is interesting. So um, Sandra says she likes the tuck better on this plain top than the printed top. So I that's interesting. I, I can imagine because in here it's so visible. Mm -hmm. that, that, that pattern top did not necessarily need the half tuck because it had enough of a pattern. But this, because it's just, you know, a plain color block little color, I think it just helps, you can know. Can you roll your turtleneck down or sure. is it uh, meant yeah, to? I don't know. I could. Oh, interesting. I, could. I mean, the, now the necklace doesn't really work with it, but mm -hmm. uh, you can roll it down. You could turn it in for those who prefer. So here's an alternative. Maybe I'll leave the necklace on. So this is the, the Alishan toppers, okay? This is a great addition to a wardrobe. We have these in a few colors. We've got colors for everyone, for every style personality, for every item that you have in your wardrobe. And this is a, a good time to get it. So for me, I like to wear it, at least in, when I'm wearing it now, I, I wanna wear it at the angle because I find that wearing it in, at an angle like this, it does, I don't know if I have it properly on, I can't tell exactly, but anyway, by wearing it at an angle, I find again, I have, it lengthens my, the left part of my body, it gives me this asymmetric look here, so I just feel taller. So I'd like an opinion on this. Okay, I'm gonna take this necklace off because I would not do so much. Now this is, this is something, some people might like it with the necklace and the Alishan and the, that would, be me. that would be Risham. So for me, this is not my style of personality. So if I was wearing the Alishan, I would certainly take off the necklace. And I would just use this at an angle. So I'm curious to know. So I like it this way because I feel it makes me look taller because of the angle. You could also do it this way. And I, I'll remove the tuck for this. and. I just am curious as to which one do you think is better because for me, I find this cuts me. It cuts me into three, one with one's here, one's there, and then the trouser. So I'm not sure if you prefer it with or without, uh, I mean this way or with a, with a longer. So it seems to be the angle. Yeah. yeah. They say uh, on the angle, 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 because it does help you make uh, look taller and better without the necklace. Yeah, yes. Absolutely okay. better without the necklace. Yeah, so again, as, us petites, just find things to show a longer part of your body. That always, always, always helps. Okay, what do I have next? I have a white shirt. I'll get that written Thank you. Okay, so this is the Foxcroft tailor shirt, which we have had for a while. I know I'm wearing it over a black, uh, underpinning so bear with me so this shirt when I have it on I find that it cuts me in half so I know Catherine who used to teach us all about you know body shapes etc and I, I think most of us do know it the one-third two-third uh, you know mm -hmm. distinguishing parts of your body always helps so for me this does not necessarily work I, I just find it just hits me at the wrong spot. It doesn't do anything for me. I would either half tuck. Now this is a bit of a controversial look. I know not everybody loves this, but this is how I, I do tend Very to wear. Very divisive. Very yes. divisive. Topic. I like doing this half tuck, literally half tuck with here and leaving this half out there. I'm curious as to what <laughs> people think. You know, you know if you go to, uh, this, is, this is how I like yeah. wearing it. You know it. you go to Thanksgiving dinner and you shouldn't talk about politics? But like, yeah. we go to Thanksgiving, we should not be talking about the half tuck. It's yeah. too controversial. And then this way too, because it's very different. But can I, I want to talk about something else. Where the shoes that you wear, that makes a big difference. If I've been wearing like a chunkier boot so far on all my looks, but I'm gonna change into a shoe with a pointed toe. 
And I think for a petite appointed toe, if it's on trend and you know if it works, is really a good uh, item to have in your wardrobe because it, again, it just elongates you, okay? So I give me two seconds, I just need to slip out of these boots and maybe you can tell me what you think if you prefer the pointed toe or if you prefer the, the square toe that I had on. Excuse the white socks underneath it. So this is very much hard, okay? So it says, so people are saying, Yes, love it. No, I don't like it. Some say, no, not for me. It looks great on Deborah. But, and then we have a couple. It says, it looks like you walked out of the bathroom with toilet paper <laughs> on your shoes. You know, like, it looks like you for, just forgot to tuck one side. See, this is really where, you know, it's interesting. Like, when you flip through a magazine and you say, wow, I love that, but it doesn't work for you, yeah. you know? So it's really, you know, it's interesting. So now I've changed the shoes. Now, I don't know if you notice a difference, but for me personally, I, f I think the sh wearing a pointed toe or a square toe makes a big difference depending on your outfit, okay? Okay, let me add the Carinoa blazer. This is a great blazer, ladies, because not only is it very classic, it's still very on trend. So this is a blazer that will stay with you, I think, you know, even when the blazer look me win because a, a nice blazer always looks sharp so this yeah. is a size small which i think is a tad big for me but maybe i can talk because it's a size small uh it's a little big i can talk about wearing the boxy uh, blazers so as a petite i find again these are just tips these are not rules do what works for you best because as stephanie says i break these rules all the time too i find if you're using like a narrower jean then you may want to go slightly bigger on the top a boxier or whatever whereas if you're wearing a fitted if you if I was wearing a wide leg jean right now I would maybe try to have if not the whole out top fitted at least the underpinning fitted and then if I still want to do the boxy blazer <coughs> excuse me I could do the boxy blazer on the top so so this is another different look now I think this blazer is a little bit big for me <coughs> so Okay, maybe in this case I would put this on. <laughs> okay. One, uh, when uh, somebody said she does the half tuck and then she's been asked, what's wrong with your shirt? <laughs> or you forgot to tuck in your shirt. <laughs> okay. So. Here we go. Again, blazer. What I like about this blazer is that it looks very good even if it's... Yes, yes, yeah, true. I think you're somebody up. that could certainly do the buttons up, right? Or the button, just one button yeah. there, and it's and again, ooh, very, uh, very 80s inspired. Even, even with the blazer, and I know it's a very sharp formal blazer, I still think just pulling it up a little bit makes just such a difference. It makes a huge difference. It looks very, I have to tell you, it looks very neat. I like this a lot. Um, yeah, and for yeah, all of us who sure. do like blazers, blazers are so on trend. They've been on trend last year, the big, the boxy blazers. But they're still on trend, not necessarily all too heavily boxy, but you can find blazers. You can belt a blazer. You know, you can do so much with a blazer. It's always nice to have one classic blazer because, again, use it with a jean, use it with a nice trouser, and for sure, it, you know, you'll get a lot of use out of it. Uh, yes, Susan, you could certainly do a black blouse. Oh, Even for very sure. Sharp, for very sure. Sharp. I mean, again, there's, there's so many mm -hmm. permutation and yeah. permutations and combinations mm -hmm. with this that... Oh, mm -hmm. you can certainly do that. Mm -hmm. I have one last little one last to show you. So, that's, uh, so it says, uh, Sue said, the length is similar to the shirt, so how does it not cut you in half? And I think what we're talking about is, you know, yeah, we have the general rule, but... But I'll tell you what happens with it. the blazer is also, because of when the shirt is tucked in and the, when you have the blazer open, you still see the jeans on the top, right? So you have that distinction between the... Mm -hmm. This is great. Lots of really beautiful questions. And, you know, um, Sharon said, pulling up the sleeves, what a great idea. And I think just instinctively, a lot of us ruche our sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> you know, anytime I put a top on, that's the first thing I do is ruche the sleeve. You know, just like if you've seen Elaine in our shows, the first thing she does when she wears a sweater is tuck it under. Right? Yeah. So it's just kind of instinctive. <laughs> yeah. gonna, oh, put it in. And this is the, now just a casual look. Now, on this, I wouldn't necessarily do a half tuck because I want it to look super casual. I don't have a sneaker here. I would throw on a sneaker, 
but these, I just, this, I just wanted to talk about how great these uh, Zacket and Plover sweaters are for the petites. The length is great on us. We don't need to do a half tuck if we don't want to. It works great on this, on the narrow jeans and it does work very well on the wide leg jeans too. So this, these are very easy pieces. If you're just looking for some casual sweaters to just throw on. And I just think they look so fun on the other thing. Very cool. Any more questions for me? That's it. Thank okay. you so much, I'm going to come Deborah. back with one look. Yes, so perfect. To close it out. Yeah. No worries. So that's good. So before you get started, Rachel, so Sandy's wondering, do you use anything to keep the sleeves up? But you found a product for that, didn't you? Uh, yes. Uh, you can use a, a clear plastic transparent elastic. Oh, elastics, sure. Or I use the soft uh, black, uh, because I wear a lot like of black. Like a hair elastic. Air elastic, but a material. I uh, bought them at Dolo, and I actually put them in my coat. Oh, that's a good idea. So yesterday I wore uh, my black jean jacket, and I was like, what is this in my pocket? And then it comes out, oh, that's why, because it keeps my sleeve up. So it's a reminder, keep your sleeve up. Uh, <laughs> that's right, I it does help, very, right? I have very short arm. And even this, I'm wearing my basic again, my uh, uh, Your lantern, lantern pants, pants yeah. size 18. I'm 5'3", I'm a size 18. Uh, and this is a three quarters go to tea, go to classic, and as you can see, it's almost for me a full sleeve. So I'm always uh, ruched it up. Uh, everything gets ruched up uh, for me. So size 18, wearing black. I'm I could have, ladies, I could have wear my slim uh, NYDJ uh, jeans mm -hmm. uh, with this. It would have, or, or even the t-shirt, uh, simply yes. t-shirt, it would have been, ex you could have wear both ways. Yes, exactly. And you also have the spanner pants, yes. right? Which are fantastic as in a pinch um, uh, for this look as well. Uh, for this video, I'm wearing my booty. Uh, a little bit of heel. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, those ladies, they can wear their pointy shoe. Uh, older, uh, wider feet, we can. We wear flat mostly, yes. and we don't get the pointy shoe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if I find a, a shoe that's pointy, it lasts about half an hour, okay. and out the door, and, it. and yeah. can't stand it anymore. Yeah, exactly. There's uh, certainly we have to find. Yes. Uh, we, we have to reconcile what we want and what works. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So that's. So I try to find something like I'm wearing my boots. It's halfway there, <laughs> not quite pointy, kind of, but it's it looks a, like an almond. Almost, and even that, uh, yeah. I find after half a day, uh, I need to change. get out of my boots. <laughs> Good. All right. What's your first look? So we're going to show uh, how uh, you tip for me is how to dress up and down. Uh, so I got this beautiful Joseph Frifkoff jacket mm. that can be wear bottom up mm -hmm. or open. And again, a uh, long sleeve, I will show you. Uh, and I'm 5'3", so it makes uh, the sleeve too long. Mm -hmm. I roll it up. I could have wear this with my NYDJ jean again uh, for a more oh, absolutely. classic uh, funky look. And now I'm going in the evening and I want to dress it up to bring it to another and of course, I'm the bling lady here. Yes. So, so can't bling do, bling. I can't do without bling or jewelry. Or it's for me. It's it's like it. I find black boring. So <laughs> I need to add uh, colors. Yeah. So wow. What a difference. Go. And just to show you, I would do one bag, but Deborah was wearing it with the. Mm -hmm belt the, the yes the chain yeah. so because i want a, a little bit more modern and dressier but going to the nac for an evening mm -hmm. i would wear it like this uh, yeah that looks beautiful and it's mm -hmm. uh wow oh we didn't see the detail in the back okay turn oh. around let's see Woo! that makes a huge impact wow mm -hmm. oh, wow wow it's wow it's a nice, it's mo It's very, uh, can be funky, but at the same time, you play with it. You're, uh, 
Uh, we were mentioning uh, earlier something that I like and I use. Just hold on this. Uh, it's called style. Oh, I'm having a blank moment. Uh, I know some ladies likes to be organized, and that's what I did Saturday, Sunday morning. They say, what are you doing this weekend? Well, I was preparing for my trip, yes. and I have this app I use in the past to organize myself, and it's style organizing, or something. I have to look, but uh, anyway, I took photos, I, dress, I take photos of my garment, and then I add it to this app, and then I dress, and I can add, and I can see Oh, so you know this goes with this and that goes with that. So that's how I plan nice. my vacation. And then you won't overpack either. Exactly. And then I look at it and I say, oh, you know what? I can take this away mm -hmm. and I use this instead. And it's changed the whole thing. So it's that's amazing. A, it's a beautiful. Life changing. And what's the name of that app? I, ha I know the styling. I sent it to uh, you guys by Instagram because I knew I was going to forget. Okay, good. Okay, we'll add it. We'll, but we'll I will, add it. Yeah. We'll, no problem. We'll look for it. Perfect. Thank you. So this is a live, and it's a X large. It's a beautiful uh, vest mm -hmm. uh, that wow. uh, I love. Impact. The, the impact. Again, the black. You want to add colors, but uh, you're not too. F some people, they're not like me, they don't like too much colors. They like to stick to their monochromatic or... So this is a way to add a little impact. I had the blue, I have the same vest in the blue which I just wore in the Joseph Frifkoff. So it's, it's just to show you, you can wear it. Mm -hmm. If you like it simple, just a That's little right. uh, earring. Mm -hmm. and, and those I, are I clip, love, right? Yes, mm -hmm. they're clip. And I picked silver because I, I have to wear, I didn't want to change. But uh, here's a, a trick, like I have this bracelet from Ziska. On one side, it has. Oh, the, wild. The wild, wild animal. Thing. If turn it the other way, now you have a, you can, a, another use for it. Mm -hmm. It's just plain black. Plain black. Now you can wear it for different occasion. So this is a, now, for me, it's still too plain. So <laughs> she's got she's got some goodies. Yeah. No, just touch it with my finger without the. Oh, I got it on the first try. Last time I couldn't get it on. Go, so wow. here yeah. you go. Mm -hmm. What a difference. It's a. Uh, it has another pop of brightness. It brights, like you said, shorter. I, w I prefer wearing long uh, because I have a short neck and that's again style personality. It's a, uh, I have one here, Stephanie will use it. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, uh, and now I can go out and I'm ready, but it's a little chill. So <laughs> let's have layer. And chill, yeah. one, uh, uh, layer is very important. I think it, it adds, uh, and you can add again colors with your layer. And uh, one day I, was, I had a gentleman where I used to work. He says to me, boy, I notice every day you look so beautiful, but I like you're layering. He noticed I was layering. Oh <laughs> he, was like, he was like, I love how you layer everything and it fits so beautifully. Yes, it and does, like, Rachel. You, you know, you know how to dress. It's wonderful. So we are going to go over time. It's almost two o'clock. We allotted an hour, but if you are, if you need to go, don't worry about it. We'll uh, you can catch on the replay later if you would feel uh, feel like you'd like to watch the rest because we got to see what Rachelle's packed for her trip. Oh, Wonderful. Here we go. Yeah. No, it's okay. Go on. Mm -hmm. That's great. So the consensus is long necklace, long necklace, long, long necklace. Long necklace. So, and you know what, I do agree. It brings beautiful light to your face, but yeah, you need to have something that's going yes. to draw the eye down. So for sure. let's, um, uh, now, you know what, I'm just going to hide it <laughs> for now. That's okay. <laughs> Under okay. there. So here we're going with another live ja top jacket. That can be wear zip up or zip uh, unzip. I prefer unzip because it, again it show uh, I would roll it, but I would tuck it under mm -hmm. this time. Yeah, so you don't get that, that different the color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you just ruch it up. You can put your elastic to keep it there. Maybe you can just use this one as a short necklace and you can yeah. compare it. So here's the short. 
ladies. Mm -hmm. There's the beautiful lip. And now we were thinking if I was wearing pearl, but because I'm going to put it in here. Yeah, what's your opinion on this? Because we were talking about this, Rochelle and me, before the show. And we'll tell you what we thought, or at least what I thought, and then we'll see what you think. Mm -hmm. Which one do you prefer? See. Let's see what everybody prefers. Yes, uh, Vicky, this can be zipped up. Yes, yes absolutely. it can be yeah. zipped up. Uh, yeah. It was quick zipped up. Yeah. So, and go. then just add another pop layer. That yes. looks beautiful. Wow. That, color. that looks amazing. Mm -hmm. And then you have, a, here you go. You're ready to go, roll. Wow. I mean, the scarf makes such a difference, doesn't it? Yes. Wow, yes. So it's, it's divided, long necklace, short necklace, mm -hmm. shorter necklace, maybe with just a little extender. Um, yeah, and it also you know. it can be a different, uh, just, I have another yeah. one uh, to show you that. And then, you know, um, long necklace, long necklace, long is better. See, Jacket looks great, nothing. zipped and unzipped. Love yeah. the, the purple, yes. Um, so it says, uh, yeah, the scarf is nice, long, short, long, short. So really, it's, you know, again, it's person. It's all personality. It's all personality. Uh, this one is a Ziska. Again, if you just want to uh, want to keep it plain and simple, I, I love my Ziska because it doesn't damage or anything uh, the uh, Simply jersey. So, but here's a little pop of color, just a tiny... For the ladies who, uh, who prefer muted and uh, not to be too bright, but then uh, here's your layer, your jacket. This is a Charlie B. Yes, the color pops. That's the first thing about that, that beautiful scarf. And now I'm wearing my necklace, and it's like, eh, eh. well, wait until I had my other layer. Who picks up? on the necklace. Just a little peekaboo. Peekaboo. And I like to wear my scarf a little on balance because uh, I don't want them to focus on the, li uh, the line because it's wider, it makes you wider at uh, your beautiful parts. Uh, so here you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean that's that's pretty fantastic, I gotta tell you. That's pretty amazing. Could I suggest unzipping your jacket yes. a little more because when you unzip it uh, more and you show more leg your leg looks longer that's a yeah. great point yeah that's a great so point, Deborah. i tend to unzip it a little higher so you can see more of the leg and again i, I this is just how i feel yeah. i feel a bit taller when i unzip it because mm -hmm. it just when you move it just shows also when leg. you sit it helps a lot yes sitting yeah driving so or yeah you don't absolutely. feel like you're yeah. constricted well, yeah so. heather was mentioning with ziska that um super lightweight but if you drop it sometimes it can break and, and that's true because it's made of resin so you know if you drop it it can it can shatter unfortunately mm -hmm. but uh, very very lightweight on a cord yes. so if you have any sort I've of I've have mine yeah. for years now and if you you know if you have any allergies nickel allergies or or yes. allergies to anything that is not um, not a precious metal uh, certainly that and would like be a everybody great else solution. I bought the bubbles uh, to go with the yes all shorten. the bubbles yes which have um, all been shipped out so uh, they mm -hmm. should be arriving to you very shortly those beads so and Stephanie yes about the bubbles we've been yes the bubbles getting yeah. requests about I'll be getting more. Oh, more, yes. So Deborah's yes. wondering, she's been getting requests on um, if we're getting any more of the uh, of the beads from Ziska, if we can do another order. And I think that we are exploring that option. So uh, I believe that will be coming. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> so this is the Liv's uh, sweater. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I, I would wear it with my uh, go, uh, classic goatee because mm -hmm. it's a shorter in the front mm -hmm. and I feel more comfortable mm -hmm. but we were talking uh, oh. I have a short neck so wow. doop, you can turn it down oh that's interesting tuck it in a little bit mm -hmm. to, to give a different look mm -hmm. or leave it out again it's a so now that's the one we were talking about the, now that is a neck because I was giving this one oh. that is a neck so I'll just put it mm -hmm. because time. <laughs> I don't think I can get it with okay. the two. Uh, but then the short one looked nice, but again, mm -hmm. it's a preference. But I prefer mm -hmm. 
especially with the neck, uh, the, the collar being uh, closer to my neck and I have a short neck. This is, uh, but again, layer, layer, layer. Layer, 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 yes, exactly. And this is the Nikki They like Jones. the long. The long and, seems to be the yes. winner for this one. Um, and Darka on Instagram is wondering when we're getting bad in the earrings. So we did just receive our shipment um, a couple of weeks ago. So that's what we have at the moment. But Another we have, one is coming. Yeah, but we have placed a reorder. So uh, keep your eyes out. And, um, and if you're not already subscribed to our emails, I would suggest doing that. And then you can see when things arrive like that. So I'm wearing the long, Nikki. I do have on the... Uh, uh, Ilse Jacobson, the jackets and the vest that I wear all the time in the fall and so I love the, uh, the layering. I even have the Charlie B <laughs> from last year so it's just uh, in the fall you want to curl up but you mm -hmm. don't want the extra. Mm -hmm. It's perfect mm -hmm. so I'm 5'3". You're 5'3". Now people are not sold on the lantern pant on Rachel and we have seen this before because mm -hmm. you have worn it and uh, people are divided whether or not they, you know, should she be wearing the lantern pant? Could she mm -hmm. wear the slimmer pant? And again, we come back to style personality. Yes. How you feel when you look in the mirror. I, I think it looks fantastic, but, but you like it. So yeah. yeah, I think it looks amazing. It's all uh, how you feel, uh, but I wear whites uh, tighter. Yeah. Uh, of course, so. and depending on what you have in your wardrobe, certainly this look could absolutely go go back to a slim pant yeah. or a denim. And we just or stick stuff with the yeah. pants. You make to move to things around. Yes. 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 yes, exactly. exactly. Same simple. as the boot. I only um, wore the boot because uh, it, mm -hmm. it takes longer to change. Yes, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and you know we're not Elaine. We're not going to change our pants on camera. So. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you so much, Rachel. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, just a quick word. We did. Mm -hmm. We only dealt with trousers today, jeans, and the candy jogger mm -hmm. and the lantern pant. But as a petite, please go and pull out skirts. Wear long skirts. I know they suggest mini skirts. Depending how old you are, you can wear a very mini skirt. But you can also do the extender with a legging underneath it, which makes it more appropriate for people of my age. But here you go. Here is a great new skirt and vest that we have from Oli. And I just wanted to show this to you, especially Liz, because I know you just ordered it this morning, how great it looks. We have the skirt from size extra small to, I think, XL large. And it fit Natalie, who's a size 18. I'm sorry, we don't have the extra small in the skirt. We do have it in small. But the extra large fit Natalie, and she looked great in it. So this is, don't be afraid to wear maxi skirts. Uh, petite ladies it really looks good again it elongates your leg now this vest is also to me it's just such a different vest it's very cool it's slightly quilted I don't think you can see that in the camera a little bit yeah as you come a little bit yeah but it's very lightweight mm -hmm. again it has the buttons open down the sides which makes it so cool and you could even oh no there she goes at the top but it just looks different again. And it's yes. not necessarily what I would do, I'm saying, mm -hmm. but you could do that. You could, okay. You could put a nice belt too. You could right? put a nice belt, you know. I'm also gonna tie my hair up and as we were talking about it and I forgot to do it a little earlier, but changing your hairstyle also makes a different or makes a big difference. Maybe the a black belt, Stephanie. Thank you. So it's a bit smaller because these are our great extendable belts. Yes, yeah, so these are the great leather belts that we have from Landy's and they're completely adjustable. Yeah. Uh oh. That's so, as a petite, cute. look again, look at the <laughs> length cute. this gives me. Yes. The other thing I, which I didn't mention before was as a petite, if you wear things higher waisted, mm -hmm. if your body permits you to do that, it. Uh, draws attention to the length of your legs even though you may not have very long legs you wear it higher waisted i can show you if i wear Sandra it so high no tuck with the vest not this time Deborah. okay <laughs> <laughs> i agree that's why i said it's not necessarily what i would do but i just wanted to show you like wearing something a higher yeah. waist it elongates your leg and if i pull it down low it's yeah better with the belt everyone says much better with the yeah. belt if, if, I, if you were to do some sort of tuck yeah. it's nice with the belt if i pull the thing down mm -hmm. low my legs automatically look slightly shorter i think well, you know, Shirley, so Shirley said maxi skirts look best with a bit of a heel. So if you can't wear heels, then you're out of luck. But I don't know if I, I agree. I wear my maxis or my long skirts and dresses with, with a sneaker. I can 
take my shoe off right now and put I have a ballet flat, except I have white socks on. Yeah, I yeah, have. <laughs> so, but no, you can definitely do you maxi skirts. Mm -hmm. If you do a really long maxi skirt with a ballet flat, I think it looks great. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to stop you from doing that. They're super comfortable. They've been really on trend this year to do long skirts with just mm -hmm. a flat open toe sandal. Try it. Again, play in front of the mirror and find what works for you. Yes, exactly. Again, bottom line, when you look in the mirror, if you feel fantastic, then that's the right piece for you. Yeah. If you look in the mirror and you're adjusting and you're not sure and humming and hawing and maybe a friend is telling you, hey, you should get that, but you, something in your mind is saying, oh, I don't know. Don't buy it. It's yeah. gonna hang in your closet is, with the yeah. tag on. This is I'm what so I tell sorry, people at the store will. too. You yeah. know, when you try something on and you, you like the idea of having owning the piece, but you're struggling to make it work, mm -hmm. don't go for it. It yeah. will always it stay there. You shouldn't yeah. struggle, right? Yeah. Not play, absolutely experiment, but it shouldn't be, you shouldn't look in the mirror and not feel like yourself. Exactly. So um, just about this vest, so this is the Orly Quilted Utility Vest, and it's available in black and extra small, me, uh, small medium, and large. So medium. you're wearing the exactly. extra, extra small, small, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. And even, yes, Joan, of course you could wear sleeves under this blouse. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. absolutely. You can even have it open like yeah, this. You could have you it know? open. You could wear the white blouse, the yeah. fox crop that we just showed, your go-to tee. And talking about wearing the white blouse, we are actually going to do a Thursday primetime show only on the skirt mm -hmm. and the various ways you can wear it, pattern yes. on pattern, white, mm -hmm. dress it up, make it, dress it down with a sneaker. You'll see it with a sneaker too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so absolutely yeah. mm -hmm. no for sure uh wonderful oh and just a, just a note so we um the pure pre-order mock necks are uh on track so not nothing is shipping but it's on track so certainly um into september so that would also be great under this vest yes that would be really good with this vest wonderful so Fantastic. thank you everyone for joining us today i hope you picked up some tips or some tricks to work for us petites and we see you tomorrow. We have a great show tomorrow. We have new French dressing jeans, a new collection from them, and there's some really great pieces, including a nice long denim skirt for all of us, petites and tall people.